Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jim. I just 13 here. Coming at you with a airport update. Um, it's been a while. I usually try to get airport updates with a new plane because I mean I can I usually rearrange everything every new update, so I could probably do more updates than usual. But anyways, um, I'm here finally again. And today, this airport update includes more of a the busier side of Charlotte Douglas International Airport instead of the the st before the the rush, like you know, like. All the planes, all the gates filled up, everything filled up, about to launch. But this is more like the active time um, of aircraft coming out. Um, so we'll start on runway 33 left, and we have ourselves a uh, A321 that's heading out to Los Angeles today. We have another A321 that's flying out to San Francisco. Um, we have an Allegheny A319 that will be flying over to Nashville today. Uh, CRJ900 heading to Pensacola. Delta 737-700 heading to Atlanta. Air Trans 717 heading to Atlanta. Air Canada Jazz CRJ 200 heading to Toronto. US Airways A330-200 heading to Frankfurt for the later flight. We have two flights to Frankfurt and that is the later flight. Um, empty gate for my um, other A330 I'll be getting. Over here we have our uh, a330 flight to um, Rome. We have our, I mean, I'm sorry, not Rome, because we have a Rome flying the 767 now. It's, our A330 is getting maintenance on it. So this flight was actually heading over to uh, Frankfurt as the 440 flight, and the other flight was the 830 flight. So that's our two flights to Frankfurt. Then the A330 300 over here is heading to London Gatwick. Dash 8 100 just arrived from Roanoke Regional, getting, you know, getting the passengers off the aircraft and taking to connections if they have any connections. So, um, sorry, I just had to quickly, thought I knocked something around, but, yeah, our CRJ 700 right here, just arrived, and we're at 33 left from Northwest Arkansas. And we have a beautiful Delta A319 that just arrived from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, I'll get to the Delta story in a second and some great news. We have our beautiful JetBlue A320, um, with service to JFK. Um, that will be, that will be leaving very, very soon, obviously, just boarding up the passengers and everything. Um, one thing about the JetBlue, like, I knew it all along. Like, I knew the Delta A320, United A320 looked just like that. I mean, I knew this new mold. Uh, AirTran 737-700 will be leaving to Baltimore, excuse me. Um, we have a Delta 75, mm, I'm sorry. Delta 757-200 that just arrived from Atlanta. And it'll obviously be pushing back to Atlanta later. Empty Delta gate, another empty Delta gate to be filled up by one eight nineteen. And I will talk about my Delta plan. Um, yeah, I do. I, I intend on getting the A320. Um, Delta has like 40 flights out of CLT a day, which is very impressive. So, And something else that will make it work even better. Um, but A320 will either serve Detroit flight from here or, or um, Salt Lake City. I think Salt Lake City because I think it's a cooler destination, just my opinion. But um, here's our U.S. Airways Philadelphia Eagles plane that will be heading to Myrtle Beach later. And our beautiful... Lufthansa Heavy, Lufthansa Flight 429, service to Munich. Um, that's where that's going, Munich. We got an empty gate here. Um, obviously, future aircraft. We got a U.S. Airways P-19 that just arrived from Washington, Reagan. We have a U.S. Airways 757-200 with service to Baltimore, just getting loaded up. And this was our empty A321 gate. Here's our other A321 with service to Phoenix, Arizona. Um, right here. We have our um, U.S. Airways uh, Nevada State Library that just arrived from Las Vegas, which is a perfect destination to come from. Um, we have our brand new A321. This is my new one. Um, now this aircraft, sorry for that. This aircraft, mm, got to focus. Oh, okay, hello. Come on now. There you go. This aircraft will be heading to Seattle. Uh, we have our U.S. Airways A320 with service to Orlando. Um, empty gate, empty gate. U.S. Airways PSA heading to um, Harrisburg today, Harrisburg PA on A319 flight. We do have one A319 flight to Harrisburg. Okay. And we have our U.S. Airways 737-400 with service to Jacksonville, Florida. We have our U.S. Airways Retro America West A319 with service to Phoenix. Now, this is a later flight. Um, this is just on a repositioning flight because we don't usually get those. And most of them are repositioned flights, just, you know. This aircraft right here is, like I said, repositioning to St. Louis. So 
Hey, on St. Louis Day. Our fantastic CRJ 200 was serviced to um, Newburn, Newburn, North Carolina, Newburn, New North Carolina. Sorry. And our wonderful JetBlue A320 bubbles, heading over to Boston Logan. And we have our U.S. Airways Boeing 737-400 with service to Philadelphia. And then we have an Air Trans 717 with the earlier Baltimore flight, like the other ones heading over to uh, Baltimore a little later. And last but not least, our U.S. Airways, sadly to say, sadly 737-300 with service to Albany. Fortunately, I'll be getting retired in a couple, about next month, in a little month and a half now. Very sad, but we'll get over it. But, uh... Now let's talk about good stuff. Well, everything's good, but let's talk about like new stuff. Um, so, if you can see right here, we have some open area. Let it focus so you're not blinding yourselves right now. We have some open area, and I do plan on expanding here. Um, so basically, I will be make getting a new platform and extending it probably to about over here. And that will give us room for five Delta gates, JetBlue gate, obviously, AirTran, unite, enough un extra United gates. And that will expand for more U.S. Airways gates. Um, it's like, it'll go behind here and there'll be like more U.S. Airways gates and everything. So just an expansion for more terminal capacity. I'll kind of back out so you can see a little more. Like back there, it'll be um, scheduled for completion is probably October, some late October, early November. So... Look up, look forward to that, and probably my next airport update will have more of uh, the slow, not the, we shout out, we don't have slow times, we just have filling up times, we don't have slow times, always filling up, right when planes land, they're already getting ready for the next flight, for the next push, so, but the next time you'll see this airport, you'll see all the planes stacked up on the, on the, uh, on their gates, ready to, prepped up and ready to go, right now you see the busiest time, and obviously I do plan on getting plenty more US Airways, so there's no need to worry about that. Um, October 31st, we get the A330-300 from Latanza. Um, seasonal change, no, no, nothing usual. It's always been like that. I'm just put, keeping everybody aware of that. So if you do see the 34600, don't get, don't be disappointed. I'm as disappointed as you are, but, uh, it's nice to see a 330 here, but the 340 is probably, the 600 is the best aircraft to see. Oh my God. I see it every day when it takes off. Um, even if I'm not, even if I don't go to the airport, it always flies over. Um, my house, uh, landing or taking off, one of the two. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the A321 today. I plan on getting a lot more U.S. Airways planes. Um, but yeah, um, as you know, I'm probably I, I feel like I'm the huge U.S. Airways fan on YouTube, and please keep bugging them about the A319 because my whole expansion is pretty much based off the A319. Plus, it's a great aircraft, so. But yeah, um... Hope you enjoyed this new update today. You've probably never seen my airport this active because I usually keep everything at the gate because I like tail views. And but now it just looks every time I go to the airport, I see all the planes stacked up one by one, like four A twenty ones back behind each other. Which obviously I would do that, but I want to keep some of the A twenty ones at the gate. But um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, thank you, and hope you like the new update or the new expansion. But yeah, thanks. Bye.